boys and girls, listen up. I know you want to watch Barbie movie, yeah. Before you go in theaters and grab your popcorn, let's break down where Barbie derived from. Created by Ruth Hanlon, 50s. Remodeled after a daughter named Bill Lilly, who was a comic girl known and not for kids, but more geared for grown men, who used men for money. This Lilly girl was a 1950s city girl. Gold digging, some took it as far to label Bill Lilly as a sex star. And that's what make this a horror, bruh. Just knowing that Barbie took this formula. First year was a hit nonetheless. 350,000 sold, an instant success. Prior dolls that came was babies too. So other kids found them relatable. But Barbie came on our scene. Far from a kid, Barbie was 19. Causing young minds gruesome damage. Displaying unrealistic beauty standards. Giving model looks to the kids, wow. She was 5'9, 110 pounds. Even had boobs in a weight loss book telling kids not to eat food. Crazy law. But wait, there's more. Fast forward time, then it's this. Barbie came with a webcam spying on kids. Nah, that's ridiculous. Dr. Umar voice, you don't find that suspicious? They invading our privacy. But still, they were reigning the economy. All while sending this message off, even when as far as a pregnant dog. This being seen definitely, theoretically raises teen pregnancy. I'm in disbelief, Barbie hurt the kids, how can this be? And I ain't even come to mention, the issues it caused with colorism. The inner trauma embedded in the wild, for the first decade she never even smiled. Just making us aware cuz, I know we run it down to the theaters to watch the movie with dad and mommy. But I had to give you the facts of Barbie. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. And just for time constraints, probably gonna give y'all two for one. This episode, we talk about the Barbie movie. Now the video y'all just got done seeing. A man goes through the whole notion of making or whole mechanics of making a song, rapping about the history of Barbie and all this dumb monkey shit. I'll just slow it up and give you the compressed version if you're black who gives a fuck it should have just been a movie you watch for entertainment purposes if you're still giving your kid a white dog kill yourself if you're a black person and for some reason you think you're influenced by white skin and you think it's better than your own black skin it, call this number 1-800 do the lord's work we need less niggas on the planet that operate and think like with this mentality as possible so it's 2023 you should not have low, you should not have low self esteem because of a white doll to the point where it makes you want to dye your your skin and bleach your hair blonde and all this stupid shit. And I know some of you stupid motherfuckers is gonna say, "Well, you got straightened hair, bitch. My shit is wavy. This is leave-in conditioning." Now I'm one of the black people that's fortunate to be able to put such in my hair and slick it back to a ponytail, which is not a white person style. It's not a European style. It's Africans that wear ponytails in certain parts of the country, continent of Africa. But who gives a fuck? None of my family's from Africa, from fucking Americas. You should have enough dignity and wherewithal, and you should have knowledge. Like, it's 2023, we got Google, we got cell phones. If you are, your kid's still picking the white doll and during the, the doll test, I don't know, maybe you got a lineage of fucking Sambo-ass niggas, right? Your bloodline is just cooned, right? That's what the fuck we're going to call it, new word, cooned. And then we have, well, I'm going to just let y'all see the video, then I'm going to come back with commentary. Yeah, I hope you guys are really having a good time out there, and I'm wishing you guys um, a happy Sunday. So, um, I'm doing this video, last time I came up with a video talking about Obama. I'm doing this video talking about um, another, um, let me tell you, about African Americans again. African Americans, let me tell you, we're not even comfortable with you. In America, we never, for example, when you see me, when you see me when I'm hanging out, I will never, I never hang out maybe with an African American friend. I will never, I never hang out maybe like, you know, with maybe, um, with an African American, you know, not just me alone, my friends, my relations, my relations, for example, us Africans, Jamaicans as well, Haitian, they will never and never hang out with African Americans. Maybe when they go out drinking, they will never and never hang out with African Americans. Never. We're not comfortable with you. 
I swear to God, Africans, African American, not Africans, us, we Africans, and we Africans, Jamaicans, and Haitian. Let me tell you the truth. We never hang out with you. We we'll never go out with you drinking. We don't even go. We don't even keep you as, as friends or as relations because we're not comfortable with you. We never are never comfortable with you. That is the truth. The truth is coming out today, and the media should be understanding everything. You went, maybe sometimes you go, you'll be telling the wife that um, at work, you cross your body with your forks, and you're putting it on us, and it's out that we are, you, us. It is a lie. It is a lie. Look, 100% of Africans, we never, and we never, and never hang out with you. We never go out drinking with you, or maybe hanging out in bars. you always with your forks. You know why? We're not comfortable with you. We're not comfortable. You know why we're not comfortable with you? You lip tongue it. Not just we lip tongue it. It's because of what us Africans and Jamaicans, Haitians, they perceive, they know of you. It's what they perceive of you. That's the reason. I don't have an African-American friend. If you go on my social media, on my Facebook, you're going to see where I talk about myself growing up as a child. I never, I never keep African-Americans as friends. We're not comfortable with you. Not even talking of having you as a roommate. Maybe, maybe I'm like keeping you in my place. So then you just got to see that African nigga. Now the reason I figure I'd do a two for one, because this nigga was wearing a pink shirt in the Barbie movie. That's the theme, right? All pink with the doll wearing pink. So this is fitting. But the African nigga goes through the motions of saying that he don't like black people. So we don't give a fuck. That's one. He like white people. He's never had a black friend. We don't give a fuck. This nigga here is a clear indicator that he's not all the way comfortable with being black. So we don't give a fuck, sir. Um, this is one of the many reasons Tariq Nasheed, Claudia Anderson, and several other people have been talking about delineating. Because it is. Because most of you motherfuckers don't like us. You secretly despise us. So fuck you. I got no problem with that. This is just like the racist white people. They're coming out. They're telling us how they really feel. And I respect that. Let us know how you feel. That way we know who the fuck to avoid. Now, that's not for all people from the Caribbean, from Africa, or elsewhere, right? South America. Uh, I got love for all black, brown-skinned people around the world. I don't give a fuck if you're a black Russian, or a black Irishman, or a black South American, or a black Mexican. If you black and you show love, that's what's up. If you're a punk motherfucker like that guy was, hey, I appreciate you coming out in the public and letting us know how you really feel so that when we find funky ass coons like you we avoid you like we'll know like you know what i'm saying your mannerisms to let us know you don't fuck with us so i guess it's a good thing i'm one of those people i don't like my hatred my animosity covert i like my shit over out in the open i like you to speak your mind just let me know how you really feel so i can stay the fuck away from you in any of them, spin my thoughts, ideas, and opinions. If you like this episode, subscribe down at the bottom, turn the notifications on, and as always, tell all your friends and share on social media platforms. And I'm out. No.